Hi there, today we're going to take a look at Dogo Books, which is a really simple way for students to have a place to write book reviews for a real and public audience. Um, so first of all, as a student, I would go to dogobooks.com and I could do a quick search for the title that I want to write a review for. Um, so I know one of the books that our seventh grade students read is The Maze Runner. So let's do a search for that. And you'll notice the first thing that pops up is The Maze Runner. Anything related will also show up. Um, the thing I have not found out is how a student can write a review for a title that's not already on Dogo Books. The good news is it looks like all current and classic titles are on there, so I think a kid would have a hard time finding a book that's not already uploaded onto Dogo Books. Now when they find the title they'd like to review, they can either read other student reviews or they can go to write a review themselves. Now down below, the nice thing about Dogo Books is kids don't have to sign up for an account. They can, but they don't have to. So the first thing they're going to do is they're going to put in their name and then down below they're going to click to review the book. But you'll notice when I click, it gives me a set of rules that I can't use a first name or a last name or the names of cities or schools. I can use my grade, um, but I can't say my age or my birthday. I can't be mean. I don't want to include any personal information. I don't want to link to other websites. So there's a lot of rules there, but a kid sees all that before they write. So as a kid, I would notice I'm not supposed to use my name, so instead I'll go back and I'll use a username instead, and then I can type in my review. So I liked the Maze, maze Runner because it had a lot of mystery surrounding the maze. Okay, so you know that's just a simple one. You could certainly instruct your kids to write something more in depth. And then finally, when I click post, it looks like it shows up, but you'll notice that my book review doesn't actually show up until the website moderators review it. So they're not going to let anything post where a kid is writing rude, inappropriate things, where they provide personal information. None of those things will actually go public until the website approves it. So that's a quick way to look at Dogo Books as a place for your students to write authentic reports um, and reviews about books that they've read.